Hello, I am Mr. Graduation Boy. And I'm an old elf. I am called that because my voice is so bloody high. That's right. We both live somewhere in England in a place called Tidmouth upon Knapford St. Tophams. Anyway, today my mate here just turned 42, so we are bringing him someplace very special for his birthday. I can hardly wait. I am such a big boy I am. Let's go to the Vauxhall. An old elf, did you remember to bring your snowsuit? Yes! That's a good elf. Remember to be on your best behavior at your birthday destination, or you will no longer have prune juice and lose your jumble playing privileges as well. Is that clear? Yes! Good. Pardon me, Mr. Graduation Boy, but is this the place you were planning on taking me to celebrate my 42nd birthday? Because I'm not a fan of airports. An old elf, don't be such a silly old monkey. We are flying to our destination, we're not celebrating it here in Heathrow. Follow me to Terminal 5, an old elf. You'll find out where we're going soon enough. Yay, I've always wanted to see America. This will be so much fun. I hope we get to see New York City and the Grand Canyon during our short visit there. An old elf. We are not going to those places. Besides, they are too far apart from each other to visit in just a couple of days. You have no idea how massive of a country the USA is. Just try to get some rest and you'll find out where we are in 12 hours. Also, be sure to thank this kind lady for letting you sit on her lap for the flight. Thank you, this kind lady. You have a soft and squishy and nice lap. Thank you for also not being frightened by the fact me and my friend have no arms or legs. Shut up, I am trying to watch Meet Me in St. Louis. Judy Garland is my girl crush. That motion picture is so bloody awful. I want to watch Duck Soup instead. Groucho Marx is my man crush. An old elf, let this nice lady watch what she wants and stop bragging about how gay you are for one of the greatest comedians of all time, who is in fact not even that attractive. What? Now you are just being homophobic and pig ugly. I will censor you and call the coppers on you because you are emotionally damaging me and my strong spirit. Cut that toxic attitude this instant or I will use the corners of my hat to make your forehead bleed. Besides, it's 1945, that silly word hasn't even been invented yet. Now just go to sleep or something, you're a 42 year old elderly man after all. Okay, sorry, whatever mate. Oh no, we are gonna be eaten by Dogzilla. Mwah, uh, Wake up elf. Uh, elf, we are in America now. Our plane has just landed. Want me to carry you out or are you able to slither out on your own? I think we should first cut ourselves a hole through this colossal corgi's esophagus. What on earth are you talking about? I was half asleep, sorry. All right an old elf, we have made it to our official destination. Did you get enough rest on the way here? Yes! Glad to hear that. Now Mr. Elf, allow me to introduce you to the greatest and most beautiful city in the entire American continent, the sparkling crown jewel of the American dream. Welcome to <coughs> Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I've never even heard of this place before or this state. Tell me what's so famous about this city. There's no Statue of Liberty, no Grand Canyon, no Golden Gate Bridge, no Mount Rushmore, no Yankee Stadium, no Cowboys, no Stonehenge. Be quiet. I read in Yankee Traveler magazine that this place is good for seeing the lakes, has the largest ball of yarn in the state, tractor pulls and the wax museum, plus it's home to one of the finest all-American pizzerias in all of the America, Chuck E. Cheese's. Really? This looks more like the bumhole of some long-forgotten industrial Soviet territory in the not-too-distant future. And it smells like beer, sludge and burning skunk excrement. An old elf, cut the smart ass talk and wait till we start going places here. I think you are really going to like this flea pit. I mean grand community. First we have to check into our room at the finest hotel here in Fond du Lac. It's called the Frozen Scum Hotel, and it's just down this road. Hello, 
Welcome to the Frozen Scum Hotel. We are infamous locally for the original hotel manager seizing a hobo off the streets and locking him in a nice box on opening day. Anyway, how can I help you? I'd like a room for two please. Yeah. Shut up and let me do the talking. That's a lovely accent you got there. I love it so much I'll even pay for your room if you'd like. I'll pay for it myself it's fine. American niceness frightens me anyway. The colder you are the better. Oh, okay. Let me get you your key sir. This room should be down this hall. Here it is. Room 437. Wow. wow. I wasn't expecting it to be this splendid. You sure proved me wrong Mr. Graduation Boy. I could boing on this bed all day. Elf, no boinging. You could get hurt by accidentally boinging off the bed. It's 11 o'clock. Let's go have lunch. Excuse me sir, are you sure you don't want me to help by paying for your room? I know $7 can be a lot for one stay here. My an old elf here and I sailed over 3800 miles to colonize and murder some natives. I mean, experience the American dream. We are not a couple of hobos and don't want to be thrown into an icebox. Thank you. Really? Your friend there looks an awful lot like a hobo to me. Boy is he cute. I just want to stroke his rubbery old basketball like head. You're also pretty cute yourself. In fact you're sexy. And if you were a cold-blooded killer why didn't you say so? I have some lovely Nathans that you can murder all you like. I said natives, not Nathans. And I didn't actually mean what I said. Now let us go grab some lunch. That sounds good to me. Let's go. You are not joining me and my decomposing elf to our excursion to Chuck E. Cheese's. Chuck E. himself is creepy enough. Thank you. Let me pay for your room, please. I want that room. No. I'm so sorry you had to see that mate. Are you okay? I hope you weren't too scared or anything. I'm fine Mr. Boy. I was only yelling no because I wanted to see more of this kind lady number two trying to convince you to be her sweet prince. I felt like I was watching a real life soap opera. Well too bad an old elf. Anyway, we are almost to Chuck E. Cheese's. This is where we will have your big birthday bash. I trust you this place is colorful and cool and clean. That would make you feel better, wouldn't it? Yes. Good. Now remember to behave. Here we are. Now let's go eat pizza. Yay 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 You can stop yaying now. We're already seated. And remember Elf, unlike in England, here in America the customer is always right, which means you are allowed to bitch and moan to others as much as you like whilst in a restaurant. So you're given permission to do at least some misbehaving here, even from me, okay? Okay, sweet. Just don't push your luck. Yo lady, get your big lazy cheeks over here. This gosh darn coke is not sparkly enough. It's too cold. The design on this cup frightens me because I'm not from the 1990s. I did not want ice. And overall you just plain suck at doing your job. <laughs> An old elf. I did not say you could go that far with complaining. That was completely inappropriate. Now that waitress just quit and people are staring at you. You're lucky we did not get thrown out. Just try to behave better once our pizza comes. Is that understood? Yes. I certainly hope so. Hope those enormous portions of food were enough for you. They sure were, and yummy too. Now let's go to the arcade. Hey Mr. Graduation Boy, what sort of toy did you win from the claw machine? It's a Squidward Tentacles doll Mr. Elf. You press its hand. Uh, tentacle? And it makes an annoyed grunt sound. <coughs> Isn't that cute? I've never even heard of the character Woodward Testicles. Is he from the Looney Tunes or something? I don't care. He makes me want to be a daddy. Well, I ended up with something way more adorable than your ugly squid doll. It's a Jack Russell Terrier stuffed animal. His name is Small. I already gave him that name because he's small and little. And he can say over a dozen different things. <coughs> That's a cutie! There are no good white basketball players. An old elf, how dare you end up with such a naughty toy, 
That's it, we are ending our trip early and will be boarding the plane back to Tidmouth upon Knapford St. Topham's this evening, and you will be leaving that mean talking pillow here. What? Uh, please don't make me abandon small. I finally feel a connection to something I love dearly as I've been so lonely for most of my life. Plus I just started enjoying myself here 20 minutes ago. Okay okay, we can keep the talking pillow puff with legs, but when we return home, I will be removing the voice box manually so you don't repeat its naughty phrases. You're 42 years old and I'm 20 so you can take it from me. But you won't have the puff fluff for three weeks, because you are grounded 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 for that period of time. Do I make myself clear, an old elf? Yes sir. Okay. I'd suggest you go to bed now. Although you can't have your small, I will let you borrow Squidward when it's time for beddy bye. Just don't be too scared if he grunts in the middle of the night. Hee <laughs> hee. No thank you. I don't want squids. Okay, off you go then. Oh hey an old elf. What? You are still my little buddy aren't you? Yes! That's more like it. Good night. Soon I will go to England to find my man.